How'd the workout go for you today? Uh, the workout was good. Uh, probably about 50 minute workout as, as far as competition drills and then uh, kind of finishing up with some shots. So it was a great workout. Uh, kind of something we've been used to for the last few weeks and just, you know, kind of just another step towards uh, close to the journey. I know the question you're getting everywhere is the health of your knees. So what are you yeah. telling teams when they ask you that? I'm good. Uh, it's kind of, they get to check for themselves now. So for me, it's kind of just, you know, just, just letting them do what they got to do. Uh, you know, I'm good. I feel great. And I just back it up on the court. So, you know, when they see how healthy I am, you know, physically, when they, you know, kind of feel on my knees and stuff, and for me to go out there and show and probably just show better than what they think on the court is something that I can just always, you know, kind of benefit from. Nate Britt told us he felt like you were moving a lot smoother than you were in college. Would right. you agree with that? Oh, definitely. Uh, I have time to kind of just work on myself, you know, work on my game. You know, kind of in college, it's, it's a lot going on as far as the season, you know, kind of wanting to focus on yourself, but it's still a team thing. As far as right now, it's still more individual for me and for everybody because you're not on a team right now. So kind of just uh, just moving and just getting better and just doing what, you, doing what I have to do. And for me, it's just getting healthy and just getting back to the top of my game. I know you played against him a little bit in college, but a good opportunity for you to match up with John today? Yeah, for sure. You know, I've been on John. Me and John, it's like our third or fourth uh, stop together. So it's not like this is our one time matching up. We've been matched up a few times before this. So, you know, it was a good thing. Again, we're making each other better uh, for the last about week and a half now. So just he's a good player. What are some of the things you feel that you've been doing in these workouts that maybe you weren't able to show in college? Uh, a lot. Um, for me, it's kind of like my versatility. Um, just kind of getting back to my game as far as um, just playing my back to the basket and facing up, playing 15 and 17 feet, uh, getting opportunities to kind of create and you know play make, and that's you know that's things I like to do. And for me, it's kind of just getting back comfortable. You know, during the season, I wasn't as healthy as I you know as I, as I wanted to be, and at the same time, you know, just kind of doing my role, playing my role. And just for me, it's just to go and just do what I do and just get better. What have you learned about yourself going through that adversity? Uh, for me, it's just my patience and just, you know, my, my, my desire and determination, to, you know, for the game. Because, you know, a lot of guys might stop playing, you know, if they went through what I went through or kind of, you know, not attack it the same way or wake up every morning knowing that, you know, I have something to prove. And for me, I think the more adversity I go through, the more, you know, it makes me hungry. And for me, it's kind of just gives me patience, you know, with myself and with myself in life as well. And just kind of just using all that, all the things I went through to just help me better as a person in life. We're five days now away from draft night. The anticipation starting to build to find out where you're going to go. Crazy, it's crazy. Like almost, you have a lot of nerves, but it's good nerves though. You kind of just anxious in where you'll be. You know, you know, you know, less than a week, you have a new city. You know, you have no idea where you'll be living. You know, no idea where you'll be at. But you know, wherever you're at, it'll be a blessing. And you know, for everybody, it's just a new experience. And you know, something you live for, and you kind of, you know, it's to work for your whole life.